Hello, wisdom seekers, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a guided meditation with Opal, the stone of karma. For those who've watched my videos before, welcome back. For those who are brand new to my channel, my name is Shannon, and I'm a certified Reiki master and teacher, a certified gemologist, and a published author. My book, Crystal Wisdom, Unearthing the Power of Gemstones for Positive Life Change is now available. And also my second book, The Crystal Wisdom of Colors, Unveiling the Healing Colors of Gemstones is also now available. And I'll put a link to those in the description box below or in the eye above if you're interested in checking those out. Today, we're gonna be doing a guided meditation with Opal. I combine these skills and passions to provide you with the knowledge, the tools, and the opportunities to practice incorporating crystal wisdom into your everyday life. These guided meditations are an opportunity to practice sitting with a gemstone, feeling its energy, listening to the supportive benefits of that stone, and deciding if it's one that you would like to work with more. If you haven't already watched the video, the top four crystal wisdom benefits of Opal, I'll link that in the eye above in case you'd like some more in-depth information about the supportive benefits. If you have a piece of Opal, and this could be precious or non-precious Opal, it's a good time to go and get that now and put that by your meditation space. It's also okay if the opal is in a piece of jewelry, a ring, or some earrings. Now you don't need a piece of this gemstone to benefit from the guided meditation, but if any of the questions that I bring up during this meditation, they, they call to you, they feel really familiar, or they trigger you a little bit, then that's a sign that you should get some opal and work with it some more. The only other thing that you'll need for this guided meditation is a comfortable seat. Now that could be on a meditation cushion on the floor, in a chair, or directly on the ground outside. Just as long as you can remain alert and comfortable for about 10 minutes during this meditation. So if you have your opal or you're ready to picture it in your mind and you have your comfortable seat, then let's begin. I invite you to close your eyes and start taking some slow, deep breaths. And bring your attention to how it feels in your body to breathe. And bringing your awareness to the rest of your body and Notice if there are any sensations that stand out to you right now. Bringing your attention to your heart center to see if there are any emotions sitting with you right now. And then bringing your awareness to your mind. To see what the state of your mind is right now. Is it distracted or calm? And we're not trying to change it or make anything a certain way. Just checking in to see what's going on with you right now. And then bringing your attention to those parts on your body that touch the cushion or chair beneath you. Noticing that solid connection 
with the earth. And remember that you are completely supported by the entire mass of the earth sitting perfectly over its center and you have access to all of the energy within the earth. So it will support and guide you during this meditation today. And if you have a piece of opal and picking that up and place that in your non-dominant hand, this is your receiving hand and will receive the energies from the opal today. And if you don't have a piece of opal, then, then picture a white gemstone with a sh shimmery rainbow flash of colors. Now take a minute if you are holding your opal, if it's tumbled or in a piece of jewelry, and take a minute to get to know your piece of opal, to turn it over in your hands, to notice its weight, run your fingers over the surface. And notice if anything changes in your heart, your body, your mind since you picked up the opal. And imagine a, a bright, brilliant light is shining at your heart center and it expands and radiates beyond your physical body. And sit with this image of opal energy for a minute. Opal is the stone of karma. And as you sit and hold or imagine the opal, consider the following questions and how they may or may not relate to your life right now. Are you having difficulty feeling good about yourself? Do you have an important decision to make? Are you going through a rough time in life and would like some more insight? Would you like to contribute positive energy to your local or global community? Would you like to manifest more of something in your life? All of these situations are supported by Opal. And if one of these stood out to you more than the others, then bring it back to your body, your heart, your mind, and sit with it for another minute or two as you hold or picture the opal.
Notice if anything changes about the way that you feel about that situation as you hold the stone. And check in with your body, your heart, your mind to see if anything has changed since the start of this meditation. And then release the image of the opal energy and release the situation that you were sitting with and just come back to your breathing. When you feel ready, then open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today to sit in meditation with Opal. And if you do find this useful, if you think that Opal is a gemstone that you would like to work with more, then these meditations are meant to be repeated about two to three times a week for a couple of weeks until you can quickly call up the supportive energy of this gemstone when you need it. And that is the essence of bringing crystal wisdom into your life to affect real improvement and change by knowing what situations in life you want support with, which gemstones will help you, and using them when you need them. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you really want to learn about a wide variety of gemstones and how they can help you in your life, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single gemstone video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again during the next video.